Hi, I'm Goose, and welcome to Color Theory in Minecraft. Today, we're going to be talking about contrast. So what is contrast? Well, contrast is the measure of difference between two things. Usually we see this with value and hue. For example, high contrast, we got black and white, or we have purple and yellow. But you can also have contrast in texture, have contrast in temperature, or contrast in size. Really, anything that you can compare between two things, you can have contrast in there. A higher contrast means more of a difference, less contrast means less of a difference. So stone and light gray concrete are pretty similar, they don't have very high contrast, but black and white, we got a block of coal and a block of quartz, that's very high contrast. There's a term that I'm going to use a lot in this episode that I want to make sure we're on the same page about because it can have two different meanings, and that word is complementary. Now complementary can mean that it goes together well, it complements it, like stone bricks and spruce logs. A very complementary combo. But when I say complementary, I mean opposites, in a sense. Black is complementary to white, yellow is complementary to purple, big is complementary to small. But that's what I mean when I say complementary. I mean opposites or high contrast. The most common place that you're going to hear the term complementary is when you're dealing with complementary colors. A complementary color is a color that is on the opposite side of the color wheel. So, for example, red is on the opposite side of green. Orange is on the opposite side of blue, and yellow is on the opposite side of violet. A complementary color is the highest contrast option that you have for a given color. So for orange, the highest contrast is blue. You'll see a lot of companies, and especially sports teams, use complementary colors in their logos. This is because it gives them very high visibility, and they're easy to differentiate from each other. You also get some interesting effects when you have high contrast colors next to each other. It's hard to see on a small scale like this. So we'll bump up to a large scale like these ones. Now, as I move the camera a little bit and move around, pay attention especially to the checkered areas. You may see a little bit of a stutter, kind of a blending of colors. High contrast colors and values have a lot of movement when they're next to each other. Now, this can be good for visibility and for creating something kind of chaotic and busy looking, but it can also be kind of hard on the eye to keep looking at. Now, we have one over here that's low contrast, and you can see right off the bat, it's just easier to look at. It's not as harsh and straining as having high contrast. Your brain and your eyes are already primed to understand contrast in this way. If I take three blocks, got green, orange, and white, and zoom out a little bit, I want you to stare at that orange block without moving your eyes and try not to blink for about 10 seconds. Then I'm going to switch the screen to black and white, and I want you to pay attention to what you see once I remove all the color. Now, did it seem like those blocks changed colors even though it was black and white? What you were seeing was the complement of each color, the highest contrast and opposite. This is a little bit different when you're looking at a screen as when you're looking at something in real life, but it's the same principle. Changing contrast can drastically change the way that a build looks. Now, we have something here that's pretty flat, no depth to it, but it's all the same color. There's not really any contrast in this. Now, if we really bump up the contrast and value, it looks like it has more depth, even though it's still flat. It stands out more, it's easier to see the door, everything is framed really well. It looks a little better, it's a little more eye-catching. We get a similar result if we have contrast in the colors instead of just the value. Makes it a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Contrast is a very useful tool to understand, and there are plenty of ways that you can use it to change something that you're building. And you know what that means. I want to see what you make using some of the principles that we talked about here today. I'm going to put a link down below to my Discord, and you can hop in there and share your build. I'm going to be sharing mine too. Ask questions, meet some friends, however you want to use it. I would love to see what you make. So thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we have a lot more to go over in the series, and I'll see you next time. See ya.